Uh, hi, everyone. So, yeah, uh, I do this other podcast occasionally. I need to pick it back up again called Two Beers In. And my friend Monica and I would record. And we started recording again after pandemic. But I used new equipment, uh, which instead of a whole computer setup, I was just using a little Zoom recorder. And I thought I had it set up. It looked like it was recording. And then we spent the next 45 minutes having drinks and having a gay old time. And in the end, guess what? It wasn't, there was no recording. But luckily, Monica and I are friends enough to where we went, well, oh, well, we'll just uh, try another time. So that's fine. Yeah. Uh, it's two the beers worst. in Austin.com. There you go. Check it out. Two beers in Austin.com. Yeah. Hi, Brett. It's, it's, hi, it's the, the, I need to work on the site. Mm. The site's not the best. It's better. It's best if you just bring in a, 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 a pod catcher and yeah. put it in that way. My website's kind of. That's, that's how it is for official websites. The yeah. very last thing anybody wants to do is update their official website, despite yeah. the fact that that is the first thing people look for. So I absolutely, <laughs> as, Brian's website has not been updated in a while. Yeah. Uh, I haven't updated it in a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, my my voice my voice site brettweavervoice.com. Yeah, not not uh, updated. Yeah. I need to do that. Uh, 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 can you tell us one more story about uh, failing to record things or or a recording error? I have to go click a button over here. Okay, uh, there was a time when I was I did a recording uh, for Ushio and Tora uh, and uh, Houston uh, a recording there, and it was the last day to be in that studio space. Yeah. It was like, and so the air condition wasn't working anymore. Oh, it was geez. 85, 87 degrees in the booth. Oh my gosh. And we only got like half of the recording and I ended up having to go to a new site and record. Yeah. That was not fun. Uh, early on in the bones, I don't know if this was the bones or maybe this was even a ghost attack. This must've been a bones. I think, uh, it was, was it an, it was a me and Brian episode. I think yeah. like we, because we were, for whatever reason, it was me and Brian that day, and we were doing it in the big studio over there. But because that's the studio is kind of, it's meant for a lot of things, and there are some things that is just not as easy. We just need it takes a minute to get set up for right. so stuff like multi tracking and just yeah. doing like a basic audio podcast just takes an extra sec. And uh, and so I knew I was going to be over by where Brian normally is for court killers and weird things and all over in the podcast stage, and. Uh, uh, definitely thought I hit record, <laughs> and then forty-five minutes later, nope. You went, yeah, damn it, nope. And then we had to do another one right. Uh, that was the that was, that's that's the the humbling part of like, no, we have to do another one, another one. Yeah, it's it it feels awful. It, yeah. it really does feel awful. Do you remember in situations like that? Do you remember all the subjects or do you just try to do a different thing or mm. that's a good one. It depends. It does depend. Like on that bones, I don't think we covered much of the same stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that, but that is a common thing. You hear that a lot. Like, Oh, we lost, we lost the first part of the recording. So we'll just try to, you know, hit all the topics again. And that's tough too. Yeah. That is really tough too, because you feel like, um, you just your your filter for it, what you have and haven't covered is all fucked up, right? And so you start over explaining things, or you start explaining things really fast. That is not, and everybody's like, what? <laughs> or yeah, <laughs> and it's uh yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're, we're good today. Yeah, knock on knock on. I, 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 we were told a little crackle crackle, but I'm sure that's no, fine. You know, it's all fine. Uh, if it's if it's awful, let me know. But uh, I think it's. Okay, I know we have some issues with our GPU sometimes, yeah. where it sounds a little crackly, but our recording is fine. Yes. Um, hi, Brett. Hi. What uh, uh, what's been popping lately? Anything popping? Uh, what is, what's EK's popping? comic. Oh, that's right. EK's comic. Shot uh, and chaser. Shot and chaser. Uh, she was very excited to come to me uh, a couple days ago yeah. and said, "The I've now drawn the hardest." Uh, a piece, a page of comic I've ever drawn. is going what I've really? ever, ever. yeah. Wow, because she's doing um, a lot of like watercolor with the mm. with the color. Weather, lots of weather. weather. Yeah, it's uh, it's how do you know if she's because it's it's a single story that she's telling. Yes, is it is she done? 
is she getting close to the done? No. Or is she? Because I well, know I, I know at first she wanted to get really ahead of it. I think we're two thirds of the way through. Okay. Okay. I yeah. think that's that's where we are right it's now. It's great. But oh, the yeah. big the big moment is happening right now. Right now. Yeah. And it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It is. It, it's great. All a lot. All the little details. Yeah. Uh, Shot and chaser. Check it out. And in fact, uh, Sunday was when she showed me this tornado and weather mm -hmm. thing happening, and then we went off to have uh, drinks at some haunted, spooky story thing. We didn't know what it was. It's like a story, like a oration thing? Like It's, hey, we're going to serve you three drinks and tell a story about each one of these drinks. And it's kind of like a haunted mansion thing, okay. but it's in an abandoned yoga studio. So <laughs> some of that gets lost. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there were it, like... The the this is our haunted juice bar. Yeah, the, the, theater, <laughs> the theater guy in me uh, mm -hmm. definitely was looking at it and going, "Okay, you guys need to you need to bring some of the low end back up in the microphones. Oh, you guys yeah. shouldn't be yelling. We need to bring mm -hmm. the volume down. And hey, when you're at it, decide you know, yeah. like really, you're using Disney clips. Is that Ugh, what y'all are using for interstitial that. music? Illegal. And uh, uh, so that was going on. You know, how, but what, as how are the drinks? What type of drinks do they give when it's when there's so much focus on th three drinks, uh, there was were they were they all they were delicious actually oh, really really good job okay so I'll give them I'll give them. I yeah. don't want to think that the whole evening was horrible mm -hmm. but it was a weird evening yeah and now, especially we didn't really know going in what the whole thing was about yeah now you said this place is in an abandoned building yoga studio I mean, building sounds better yeah and <laughs> is it so it's totally inside yes okay okay. Because uh, Sunday uh -huh. might have brought some complications that, to that. There was. There were complications. Okay. Uh, we didn't lose power. Okay. But oh, definitely wow. at the beginning, uh, it was right around uh, close to 9 o'clock. So this is when everything was starting to happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, weather-wise, if, 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 if all of you didn't know, on Sunday, a huge uh, uh, hailstorm came through one specific part of Austin. Yeah. In and, fact, we'll talk uh, about it a little later yeah. in the show. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Yeah. But, and, uh, and so, but even being inside, yeah. you were affected by it. Did, but, but, but the power didn't go out. Power did not go out, but, but the, uh, the hosts were quite saucy mm. with us. Cause they were, you know, doing the, were they on if the you sauce? don't know these words, uh, like if you were offended by these words, uh, you might as well leave because this is an adult only, thing and so blah 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 so mm. that's okay sure. but then they were like and turn off your fucking phones mm. turn them off and everybody's mm. like okay so i put mine to silent and da 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 da, da. Yeah. but then the storm started to come through and we started getting the <laughs> alarm <laughs> and yeah. the person just kept going like uh, so that was but not in a bad way that they is were, a, yeah I it's still an annoyance and you know but yeah. it was funny it's funny uh, uh i've got i've got a story about the hill storm but it's multimedia so uh, it will be in the main show. yes but yes. suffice to say i also ran into that storm yeah, yeah. uh i uh la i think it was last week where i talked about uh, a youtuber uh, that i had found mm -hmm. j j reg uh cool guy still j reg i got a i got another one for you today okay if only because it, i watched a video of his and i thought that the topic itself was good enough to steal so I have to do this sort of framing device yes. so I can steal his content while being transformative. <laughs> sure. Uh, have you heard of you know Jarvis Johnson? No. Jarvis Johnson Gold. Uh, I don't know anything about him, but he's like a YouTuber guy. Okay. And he, he's pretty good. He's not just, a VTuber, but a YouTuber. Not a VTuber, YouTube just a YouTuber, guy. yeah. Okay. And uh, I, uh, I, I bring him up because he did a really interesting video on virtual influencers. Okay. Do you know virtual influencers? That's that's a that's maybe a two words that don't fit the way I'm used to having them fit. Yeah, virtual influencers. Because I don't know how many virtual influencers actually influence me. If you had to describe what a virtual influencer does or what it is about them that makes them different than your KKWs and your Bella Hadids. Uh, it, it would seem to me they would be people going, look at this great life that I'm leading right now. Isn't this life great? Look at these products that I'm using in this great life that I'm living. You got the influencer part, but the virtual part. I mean, I think you've just described 
a broad sub- subsection sure. of all of all, but but specifically virtual influencers, not necessarily AI, okay, specifically, but virtual. Um, maybe you've heard of Little Michaela. Yeah. She was she's maybe one of the better known uh, ones. Okay, so her Instagram account is kind of kind of like a normal influencer, you know. Oh, I'm out and about. I'm shopping. I'm sure, doing whatever. But she is a 3D model. Okay. And so... So it's almost like a VTuber. It almost is, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and I guess when, when we get to deeper in, it is much more like a VTuber for sure. Uh, and so it was, a whole, it was you know, a whole thing. She had this very specific model. It looked good. The Photoshopping always looked mm. good. Enough where like, uh, it was still very new when she came on the scene a few years ago. Um, and I think that's what drew people um, to uh, to her, right? Like, okay, how much of this is real? What of this is real? Um, and I think that's still an interesting question. But I think her, her her spark is not quite there anymore. Her time was a few years ago. Okay, you know, like I short lived. I say These that things be- are short lived. Yeah, I say that because I think she's prob she was the most prominent one I could think of post watching this video mm-hmm. um, and even then interest in her has kind of died down like when she came out when she when she started her uh, account about five years ago it was notable that she hit 2,000 followers or 2 million followers oh, I was going to say like... Jesus Christ sorry <laughs> 2 million followers and it and today she's sitting at 250, 250 okay. 200 or 2.5 now did she Oh, 2.5 million. 2.5 mil. Yeah. Which is not bad, but that is not a lot of, not exactly explosive growth it's over not four or five a, years. Right. But if she has 2.5 steady, like they're there. And and who knows? If everybody gives a dollar, you know. And and at least in that case, it was, it was very unique at the time. Really wasn't any, we hadn't had metaverse conversations. We were barely, we were still figuring out influencer conversations. Right. And um, and so Jarvis uh, mentions a couple of other new virtual influencers, and when he profiles them, it it is a strange question of what are they doing this for? Yeah. So, for example, uh, Lesha is one that he mentions, um, and this is uh, a. This is a female character who has uh, <laughs> it's she it is basically a VTuber. Okay. Right? It is someone who's done a little bit of motion capture with a 3D, a very like rough 3D model. Sure. Um doing dances or doing whatever. Okay. And a lot of the the driving forces behind it are Humans are usually just men. Um, and it makes this really qu- crazy thing. Another one that he mentions is Nanori, and she's also an influencer, but then there's also there's always like a music side to this. Yeah. So it's like a music side, because it's usually like a DJ who came up with these ideas. Right. Um, and so for that one, there's this video of her saying, like, I'm a, I'm a virtual influencer with a human soul. I'm a robot with a human soul. Sure, that's... All of them, though, right? I'm a human with a ro- a robot with a human, human soul. soul. Uh, I can I can be hurt. Well, no, <laughs> that's that's no. You know that's what? That's a different thing. It's a different okay. thing. And I, it, it is it it. Hello, no. uh oh, we've got some Brian. some invaders into the into the studio here. Brian. Um, but it ends up being a lot of like, hey, you know, here's, it's. It's like if someone was like, I want to do a Britney Spears. I'll just make a Britney Spears. And yeah. and everyone says, okay, you are clearly able and allowed to do that. Have fun. We're talking about virtual influencers, Brian, uh, and eventually Mike. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'll explain. But my question is, which one is the purple one? Because I was listening to... Um, Sorry? Um, uh, some rap music, right? Sure. You've heard the rap, right? Yeah, I've heard of this. <laughs> they uh, <laughs> what occasionally, is, what is this? well, they they occasionally will use some street lingo that I'm not familiar with, right? Sure. Okay. And uh, there's also um, 
Would it be fair to say that in the rap music there's a fair bit of uh, uh, references to various races of people? Would that would that be fair? Racial dynamics are very commonly a theme in rap music, and, right. so, and some rap music. Yeah. Right. yeah okay. Sure. All right. All right. So I'm going to read you some rap lyrics oh, right here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> This is. Did you notice how Sometimes this has nothing to do with what we were talking absolutely about? Absolutely nothing. He, and he's like, really, I love what you're talking hey, about. Hey, and let's, you know, while we're the, at it. What's the okay, purple see, one? What's right, the purple? So, that's know, that Prince. Reminds, the no, purple no, no, one reminds yeah. me of the see, thing I was I thinking of. I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello to the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. Which so, one is the purple one? Prince. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Prince. They're saying hi to Prince <laughs> before he I, was yep. even on the I think I think the I think the purple one is uh, failed mountain climbers and battered wives. <laughs> yeah, battered wives. Yeah. 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 Oh, but, but, uh, I, I wrote a bit that that uh, oh. is so awful. I'll only say it here. Please don't attach my name to this. But what? but um, uh, I just wanted to let you know. That doesn't change anything. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't no, no, said wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Sure. It'll no, be fine. My, my my daughter was bouncing on her bed and she slipped and fell. She hit her eye. She got a black eye. Sure. And then we, uh, and so Bonnie was like, "Oh my god." Uh, uh, she what she meant to convey was, "We have a medical situation." Our daughter just got a shiner. A shiner, right? sure. And and I responded, pretending to not understand, like, got it. Emergency writers reading room <laughs> reading. What's the zinger she's gonna say? And I got like three in, and then I landed. I was like, oh, she's ten years old. And I just pictured <laughs> because they're gonna ask, and and indeed, Bonnie got uh, cornered by the counselor. Sure. Just in a coy kind of like, so you know, so. whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, but I, I was like, oh, when they ask. What if this 10 year old says, uh, yeah, they're like, so what happened to your eye, Callie? I thought it'd be hilarious if she said, my husband said I should tell you that I was jumping on the bed. <laughs> I've got, I've got something very simple. My, you know, this does relate. You can say that. Yeah, you can. You're allowed to do that. You can. <laughs> My, my, I had something very similar happen to where my friend, my friend uh, uh, Val, uh, was playing roller hockey, and she got high sticked in the face and oh, got yeah, just yeah, a yeah, really, yeah, yeah. a really good. A and while we were out the next couple of weeks, if I would be standing next to her, I'd turn and she'd shy away oh, every oh, time, oh, God. every oh, time. No. Uh, uh, and then oh. and people look, and he, she actually goes, uh, "No, that's sometimes uh, he loves me oh. too much." Oh my God. <laughs> I actually, actually, that this is this is not as funny, but I so I, I actually <laughs> love it. I love it already. I picked up. Let's picked make up. this conversation less funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it is. It is. It is funny in the, in a circumstance because let's so find out. I, not so, funny, okay. funny, funny, strange. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Domestic violence is a common yeah, theme in comedy yeah, of yeah. many, many no, times. Wait, 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 anyway, wait, 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 wait. There are those moments of like dark comedy that I feel like it, it, you are entitled to engage with. Uh, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like the, 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 the devil hanging over you. Like, like, like Bonnie. Like, like, ah, like, ah, like, ah, get thee away from me. No, say uh, it. Say it. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie was. Don't you say it. On the other side. Uh, uh, 2007. We're about to have Josie. Bonnie is pregnant, pregnant. I'm about to leave to go to uh, Halloween Horror Nights for the very first time. We'll talk about that later. But um, but she was at a gas station and mm -hmm. got rear-ended and, and just bonked her face onto uh, whatever the column is that, uh, next to you. Yeah. Um, uh, and so she got a pretty good shiner. And I was like, uh, and, oh. and you know, she's full belly sure. pregnant or whatever. Mm. I was like, stand here. I'll be right back. And I came back with a little rolled up tube. I was like, put this in your mouth. <laughs> and then I took a photo. I was like, pull up your belly. <laughs> okay. Hold this beer. <laughs> so somewhere is that photo. <laughs> And here it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody knows. It was. It's, it's right next to the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so how are you guys? 
Well, you know. Okay. Don't got a black eye. Purple. You know, uh, <laughs> purple. <laughs> we we yeah, were talking. We, I guess we'll talk about ChatGPT a little bit, but I wanted to bring up something I found on Twitch. Mm-hmm. You know, more folks are using the generative media. Uh, you know, we saw the Seinfeld thing right. earlier this year, which turned into its own thing and is now kind of bad. And now you see uh, much more obvious things. There is definitely a Family Guy one that just uses the Family Guy characters and their voices uh, hey, nonstop. Brian? Yeah. Uh, I can't believe the pineapple yeah. was out of at the you know you remember whatever. what happened the last time <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's like hey, it's the last time it's like that but with less with less like a uh, excitement hey yeah. you remember the time what had happened yeah um <laughs> but i found one on on twitch that i think everyone can get into uh ask jesus oh dear and it's uh, and not jesus but jesus and it's the main. It's it's your guy. Oh God. Oh, it's white Jesus. It, it is, is white. No, it is white it's, Jesus. It's your boy. Uh, and so it reads what's in the he's chat. He's the purple one. He's the yeah. That's yeah, right. Good. All yeah. hail his purple reign. His purpleness. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's the thing. That's fine. Uh, right. Well, yeah. I mean, just be, uh, uh, so so he's is reading. That right? Is that fine? So uh, okay. wait, 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 wait. There, depends. There, there are times that I worry about, like, real sacrilege. And then I ask myself, was that good enough that I'd tell Jesus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if it's funny enough, I'm like, yeah, because by definition, he's the chillest he, motherfucker. He Jesus, I had a 12. <laughs> hey, as, lo- be so, he, 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 as long he, as you're he, not he, a that, Pharisee, you're yeah, going to be yeah. okay, I think. Dude, you hung out with all the whores and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, I, actually, actually, that does beg the question, who is the funniest God? Like, what, like, like of all of the gods, what's the funny, like, what's the mm. one that's known, best known? Okay. Like, well, for his humor, his sense of humor. The, the I two. just figured out a derivation of don't get brody, which is <laughs> the mics go down. Yeah. Oh, I'll play this game. Uh, <laughs> flying Spaghetti Monster. Sure. Yeah. Pro- intentionally, probably. Sure. Uh, the Satanism Devil, only because their whole thing is being ironic. Sure, Balf- sure, yeah, uh, what sure, is it? Sure, Balfamet sure. or something? Is uh, his name? Ba- ba- Piazza Piazza Bob and, or, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like Osmodeus. Like and, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, so I guess, that, I guess that would be the place to start is the... F- the lighthearted or ironic religion. But monkey sure. King? But, but, maybe Monkey King? Maybe. But, what, but, what, but I think what, what the Chinese what, people, I think China no, okay. is culturally, uh, so, so, I don't know. Not yeah. exactly a religion, but like, yeah. we know that Confucius was smart, and we know that Buddha was wise. Okay. We know, you know, uh, 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 Mother Teresa. Uh, no, no. Is it Gandhi, Shiva? Yeah. Shiva? Likes to tear shit up. Gan- Gandhi, Gandhi was he's not a god. Yeah, he's not yeah. a god. Gandhi yeah. was not a god. He's Zeus, but he, but Zeus was horny. Uh, yep. Um, yep. But but like by definition, mm-hmm. and 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 I maybe I, Bacchus. I I don't want to make well, I, okay. First of all, Bacchus party animal always the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you you just trumped me because I was gonna oh, say shit. like like Jesus is uh, like kind of by definition. A chill bro. Yeah. Yeah. But but Bacchus is <laughs> yeah. fucking Terrence. Like, let's yeah, get yeah, it. Right? Bac- yeah. Bacchus, yeah. His entire his entire discipline or domain <laughs> is like, yeah, we're just gonna party. That's what we're gonna do. We're yeah. just gonna get drunk. What are we gonna do? Let's get yeah. Party. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I that's what could we you do. imagine being Bacchus and like finding out that a fucking rager was happening and you didn't get invited? <laughs> <laughs> I want, that's I want, dangerous. I want, like, how do yeah, Bacchus? This is this is all the parties on earth get really shitty for a little bit. He's like, I don't know, maybe I'll apprentice under Hephaestus. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Mike TV, uh, Pouty Bacchus. It's a band name. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, some yeah, band yeah, name. Pouty Bacchus. Uh, Pouty Bacchus. I don't want to listen to Pouty Bacchus, though. <laughs> I don't want to listen to that. It's, a, it's, a, it's, 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 it's strange, especially because we have our relationship with gods. Sure. Things that are we consider at like the level of God, maybe not yeah. like the actual religious level of it. Sure. But but we have these things that are that many folks have a lot of sacred, yeah. a lot of sacred sacredity. See, you could say sacred cows. That's the word you were trying to <laughs> no, not say. <laughs> yeah, I saw you three times. I didn't know what say the just, word cow. I just didn't. I didn't <laughs> know the meaning of. That. I didn't know the. Adge- <laughs> I was trying to conjugate say, sacred. There's, there's and, some devotion that you're. you're yeah, yeah, people. You're, I mean, yeah. there are things. You, but then you have. Like the like the Marvel Cinematic. This is my this is my bear bug with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Is that 
they oh. just legitimize a lot of history. They just like they they're say all- that all the Roman gods and the Egyptian gods and the Greek gods were real. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and the Norse gods. It's the uh, Norse gods. They're, they're aliens. They no, they're aliens. aliens. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, uh, sh- shouts out to Scott Max who says Anan- Anansi. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Anansi. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Anansi's yeah. got yeah. a good yeah. sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. 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 he certainly does. Yeah, and, that is, yeah. At least, at least they. And for as much attention as we give the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we certainly put. In that in, in that context, we put those figures in a very like heroes and legends space with yeah. Captain America and and Iron Man WD, WMD man right WD forty man WD forty man weapons of mass destruction man I'm duct tape man uh, my, my, I can fix this everything story, <laughs> this story is squeaking as I open Actually, it yeah. okay w- that, hold on that's a good question if you had this is a would you rather bot question is Iron Man more of a WMD man or more of a WD forty man <laughs> everybody Ooh. in the chat give me give me you know, log in log that's in your response on that one yeah, 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 yeah because like by definition he's more wd-40 but also the character but he made a lot of he made, he made all his money, money on yeah, yeah, yeah. stood for money <laughs> weapons, weapons of money, money destruction, destruction. <laughs> yeah that's, there, there we, that's where we're that's going kill thanos <laughs> <laughs> i'm iron man i'm great <laughs> i thought he was joker too oh my goodness <laughs> money and destruction <laughs> oh so, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting for jesus man they so they, I'm waiting well there for was jesus, man. there's one no, the Marvel. Come on, Amar. You know okay. what I'm. I, I, I know you, you can well actually all Je- day. Jesus, but. Jesus Christ, vampire Superstar. hunter. No, Jesus Christ, vampire hunter. Okay. I feel like he just sit him down. It's a movie. Have a talk. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was a movie. Oh, oh, oh. When when people talk about Pride and Prejudice, do you let them know that there's a zombie version of it too? Uh, occasionally. Hmm. Occasionally. Okay. Depends. Yeah. Depends on wait, how. wait, wait, wait. Is there is this? There's zombie versions of everything. You is, did is not. Like, like, oh my like, god. Yeah. Pride and Prejudice and zombies is one of. Is pr- like the it best. was the proto yeah it, it was it was the ur text okay, of, okay. of yeah. ironic uh, like uh, hey let's take a public domain thing and add zombies, zombies. Yeah. zombies. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, so uh, yeah. makes uh, perfect Abraham sense Lincoln, of course Vampire Slayer and yeah. all that stuff sure. yeah yeah but it doesn't make Pride and Prejudice do you know what I'm saying right you know is. I'm gonna stop because I was I was I could feel I could feel the judginess just rising as I as I as I figured out what I wanted to say. So, in regards to the original premise that you had, which is you know we're we're where we're using humor and connecting it to deities, Mm -hmm. uh, and is that okay? Is that okay for us to be doing that? Yeah, and I I think I think that it all depends. Like if Mm -hmm. I am. Like my sister is 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 religious, very very. Mm. I mean, but she has a sense of humor. You met Simone. Name five religions she's invented. She's invented five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's invented five. She has, doesn't she invented, sound that religious. We'll come back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like if she was a fake religion fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but 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 I know not that, very prolific apparently. Like, I can <laughs> one religion. No, I'm a real fan. <laughs> I know that I can have a sense of humor <laughs> yeah. about most things, and she's on board. But if I go and talk about Jesus in a joking way, she's like, Mm-mm, "Yeah, no." Well, and, and and so I just have to know my audience. So, like, I think you can be funny about anything as long as you know your audience. Hmm. So, in um, uh, Neil Gaiman's book, uh, American Gods, mm-hmm. uh, they literally each country has their own. Like there are multiple Jesuses walking around, right? And uh, yeah. uh, 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 you know, uh, out in China. Jesus is just kind of a chill bro who's wearing a bag or something, you know. Right. Whereas, yeah. but he's like, oh man, that dude in America, you gotta see this motherfucker. <laughs> like, uh, that, that's how they skirt around it. Like he's too big. Like we yeah. can't possibly it's too much. But mm. we could talk about like chill, tiny, chill, tiny. Yep, chill, tiny Jesus. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Was the, he the specifically Viet, tiny? Vietnamese, was he short? Vietnamese <laughs> you know Jesus is is no. is. Uh... <laughs> He's Jesus, so chill, so tiny. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, he gets you, around. He gets he, around. He's, he's the, he's the yeah, baby yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a new Jesus? Who's a new Jesus? He's Jesus like, would be an iPad baby he's today. Like I'm 37 years old. <laughs> yeah. make it no, of me. course you oh, are. Yes, you That's are. A big no. number, Who's a big? It? Who's a big 37 years old? <laughs> I'm this many. No. And then there's a hole in his hand. Yeah, there's a hole. The stigmata. Stigmata. <laughs> oh, 
Well, who's like, got no, nah, I'm the, the real the... Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, getting away from all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh. Here's a here's a mini game for you guys. Uh, what is the group of people that are considered the most valuable recruits for the U.S. information agencies, the three letter agencies? Mm. Hmm. I actually, um, I am certain I know the answer to this. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I am certain. Okay, Mike, Brett. Thought? So, so it, it's it's a it's a a, a nationality people. Mm-hmm. I would say it's a demographic. It's a, okay. It's a it is a demographic. Right. You would you would do can, some can lines. I, can I can I give you my? Yes. Yep. Yes. I was right. I'm right. Okay. I, I didn't see that. Um, good, 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 so, good. huh? So I, 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 I'd say that. So, <laughs> and it's a good fact too. It's a the, fascinating. Also, thing. that comes one hundred percent from lived experience. Oh yeah. Nowhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, uh, so uh, I'm figuring it's gonna be uh, huh. some guesses For in the inter- chat. Dogs, stoners, I was races, Br- bronies, bronies. Okay, yeah. Wooden Cybermen. Sure. <laughs> Wooden Cybermen. Yeah, man. That, Just that's, read in the that's chat. Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You thought I was joking? No, that's no. actually a really. That's a really like. What would be? What would be the best demographic for? I mean, well. Brett, what tr- traits? What what traits are? What are you looking for? If you were an FBI, if you were a CIA, what would you be looking I'm, for I'm in a demo? Uh, someone who's disaffected and probably doing hacking already. Okay, so someone who's deep in it, who's uh, who, an anti-hero, you can turn. Yeah, and then to turn him. Yep, I uh, watch sneakers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I but it, but it's for me. You'd think it'd be somebody persistent, somebody somebody like okay, it, it, that's it, yeah, yeah. It, it'd be mm-hmm. it'd be persistent um, with and with a, a, like a somebody that, that's curious, like obviously has some level of education, not like not like scholar level. Like I'm thinking like a you know bachelor's in science of you know like okay, in, good good answer, yeah. good answer. Is it on the board? Show me bachelors of science. Persistence was a good guess. You, you said robot cyber or wooden cybermen? No, I did not say oh, okay. that. I oh, said somebody said it. Somebody I said it. nobody remembers. Nice Brody is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any last guesses? Some people are saying. Okay, uh, Brian. I, I, do you want me to lead you to the answer, or do you want uh, or Bryce? Would you? You could. Uh, you could. Sixty seconds. Lead him. <laughs> okay. for all right. All right. All right. <clears throat> What are some of the attributes that you want most if you're hiring? Imagine, put yourself in the FBI. Sure. What is an attribute of a person that you is most important? Uh, someone who will take directions. Ninjas. Uh, okay. That's, Mostly that, that, ninjutsu. <laughs> I'm yeah, figuring. Okay. I'm figuring like fourth or fifth day in ninjutsu. Maybe. Would be, maybe yeah, someone yeah. who blends in. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, yeah. No. Yeah. So. 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 Okay. So. Seriously. Like. Yeah. Like. Like. The thing is. Is. Is it. So, you'd want somebody that's diligent. You'd want somebody that has a capacity for critical thinking, mm-hmm. thinking outside the box, thinking. Um, How hard do you want them to work? How do you want them to work? Of How hard do you yeah, want? Them? Yeah, you want you want them. So you to want work. somebody who works very very. Yeah, like really like hard. of course workaholics. Like uh, nine, what nine about someone who had like a uh, hundred hour work week weeks? So, you know, felt invested. Felt felt like oh, like I got like it. This I, is my destiny. This is a call. It's fairly manifest. Is this? Are you guys with the FBI? Is this a recruitment thing? Are you guys no, with the yeah, FBI? Are you guys? Because I'd imagine you want somebody who. who, who <laughs> that's right. We're looking for podcasters. Do, do you we want need them to drink or not drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want them to be boozing all yeah, the no, time or no? Uh, it's always to get their job done. I don't. I don't. I, I think that the the United you, States okay, says very, okay. You're you're fired, fired from the FBI. You're, not, you're <laughs> fired from the FBI for your chill. You're hired for this attitude as a boss. What are you even doing? You want them to drink or not drink? Not drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Would, you, would you like them? Oh, you're looking, would you like them to have oh, a reputation talking... and maybe a service record? Okay. Yes. Yeah. How many years? Okay. Uh, would two right. be enough? Yeah, of course. And would mm. you like them to have definitely followed through with it? Mm. Yes. Twenty. Well, what if it was a really tough one? Oh. And so not overseas. So none, none, none of this giving water Just, to people you don't know. No, Ten no, seconds. No, no. Just more of uh, g- uh, going out and going door to door to places, maybe. Oh, there we are. Oh. Now he's got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, in fact, they've got a. Don't they have a musical based on 
Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't yeah. want to talk to those guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Mormons, apparently, yeah. are a very, are like a priority uh, recruitment target for the, for the intelligence agencies. Wow. Uh, because sense. of all of the reasons, Par- yeah. partly that, and also because their religion says that America is the holy land. The best. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Jesus yeah. 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 America. Right. Yeah. So that um, that doesn't hurt. Uh, but al- <laughs> but also, <laughs> but, 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 but they, they they have a uh, they have a track record. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and also, uh, it's like uh, astronauts. Oh, because we do, aren't they, ast- pro- they probably also recruit heavily from that pool. Probably not. Well, not anymore. He, yeah, not since the incident. At first, <laughs> not since, <laughs> at first they seem to have. Not since the butter Chernobyl incident. <laughs> Do we have Mormons? I guess it's more of an Amish thing. It kind of works. Uh, it's yeah, but no, isn't isn't that like a, at least early on, most of the astronauts were from Kansas. Or they were from like the same state because yeah, that's well, where I, I NASA know that the was. Stereotype yeah. is kind of corn-fed, uh, all-American. Iowa, maybe. Uh, yeah. Ala- Alabama. Louisiana. I know, I, know, I, mean, I know that a lot of them were engineers. It does. It does make so, sense. Yeah, it does like make that. sense. You don't want somebody too cosmopolitan with Ohio. too like Ohio. too contrarian. Like you don't want you don't want contrarian perspectives built and baked into the people that you I, want to be like. Like our these are our loyal people to go kick ass. Right? I just yeah. realized two things. Number one, Jesus would never be an FBI agent because he hung around. With <laughs> no, all no, the no, 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 cool no. That's, that's exactly yeah. right. That's talking exactly about right. Just sticking it to the man and be more CIA. Be more CIA. That's so funny. I, yeah. Jesus is coded CIA. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Jesus is CIA. Oh, so the Buddha is FBI. FBI. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, been there, done that. <laughs> I'm here on the face. Earth. I'm gonna die on this earth. <laughs> oh, hold on, that's my call. <laughs> you know, no one, no one asked Jesus about space. Maybe he knows. No. Maybe he knows what's up there. Yeah. Of course he does. Right, right. Like, like, he, like you, you have to assume that. The, I, what I'm figuring is that if there, if there is a God and Jesus is thing, like. There's billions of other planets. Hey, hold on. If there is a God, <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I'm Jesus saying this is an object. <laughs> I mean, if, there's a major <laughs> hypothetical to start I mean, with. If, okay. if, all, if all of that works, right? But the thing is, that there's billions of planets. There's got to be other life out there. Everybody has their own stories. Like, yes, yeah, like, they're, like they're, they're probably like, Jesus is probably like, oh, I'll give Earth. Okay, here. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. There we go. You, and then he spends I the rest you, of his I year. I need you to stop talking because I don't know if you know this. I think Bryce knows this. I don't think you know this. Okay, what's it? You are literally talking about what is alleged to be the secret dogma behind Mormonism. Mormonism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's and that eventually... Quite literally, is it if that, you is are exactly that? Cl- awesome and close to yeah. Jesus, you get your own planet someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember that. <laughs> I actually thought of that like just out of high school because I was going, you know, Christianity... Is my own planet? I'm, I'm all in this. And I was like, <laughs> but what if, you know, like we, we have the rapture and then we all go to heaven and now... A couple of millennia, you know, a couple of million years happen where we're all, I mean, every, every party is great, but after a while you're like, okay, well, what else are we going to do? Well, yeah, well, and, you're, that's, and that's when Jesus uh, drags me to the side and goes, okay, here's what I'm going to do. You see that, see that corner right there, that little spot of space. Yeah. That's yours. No, you actually, go do, I, I, and, and, I, I, and a, a Mormon friend is like. That's Mormonism. That's that's, that's, yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm just like the Jesus guy. I have like, tablets. This news fest. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Come on. How, Let's get out of here. How unaffected do we have to be to imagine getting into heaven? Presuming that heaven sure. is real. Yes. And then getting bored of it. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Because instead of it becoming something different and no, being great here's forever. The worst part. Here's the worst that? part. Yeah. You live in heaven. You rock it every night is the best party ever. But eventually you become bored of it and disaffected. Sure. And so you take the heaven shotgun and you put it in your mouth. Oh, Christ. And you pull the trigger. And then to your horror, you're you, back in you're heaven. You're in another yeah. heaven. No, 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 no. I, I think, I think, I think, I, I really think that heaven's like, like the ultimate theme park. And so there's like, you just, so there's like, so you're like, yeah, I'm in nightclub I, land I for like, so... for like three or 4,000 years. And you're like, fuck the nightclub land. I'm going to the slow town where I just hang out with my friends. And yep. we like, you know, yeah. You, oh, no, you know what? Right. Oh, picture this. You're up in heaven and you're like, this place fucking blows. Where's the cocaine and the hookers? No, yeah, and no. you go down to hell and you're like, now this 
is heavy. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. They pull back the curtain and you're a fucking heaven That's again. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah, come on down, dude. Do naughty things. Yeah, like, I, did, yeah. I never expected this, but we went from inventing Mormonism to inventing the Barbie movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh. <laughs> and it's just a ra- lazy river, but with endless frozen marks. Oh, yes. oh, that's good. Oh. Frozen marks. Oh my gosh! From like, chilies. Yeah, yeah. You, you wake up in heaven. You're like, oh Christ, golden hour again. Just uh, all yeah. this place. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Or actually, you look. You don't even get that far. You get as far as saying like, oh Christ. He's like, sup? Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, like, yeah. he's like Siri. Oh, like you call me. Yeah. Uh, like no. Jan- Janice from uh, the Good from Place. Good place yeah. 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 yeah that's the thing is we're doing a lot of good really place right now. Yeah. If you think about if you think about it from that perspective, if you think about the, the American God's interpretation, what if it ends up that we all of us get our own like like her, like the yep. we all get our own Jesus that just kind of like like he's our Jesus. Like he, this is my we have a personal relationship with Jesus. This is our Jesus. Yeah. This is my Jesus. Man will invent a like, God and make him your servant. Yeah, but what if <laughs> what is this literally what is happening in our life? Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> we can't handle being guilty. It's like, well, I mean, if, if Santa's supposed to watch you when you're awake and asleep <laughs> can we invent can we santa make, please yeah <laughs> can we also well, fucking, give us gifts fucking elf in a shelf bad uh, or good? Just, fucking elf in a shelf <laughs> yes. it's, no literally we fucking... keep inventing gods <laughs> what if what What's if your own us? personal jesus though is he doesn't really like you that much I mean, like it, it maybe, or maybe that's the thing that you like is that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the curtain pulls back. You're in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. You're like, God damn it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And God heaven? says, you know, that's well, one thing I don't do because, <laughs> hey, who wants a brewski? <laughs> yeah. The, the only thing heaven doesn't do is edging. <laughs> yeah. They'll do everything except not let you get off. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is, oh, I'm back to damn heaven it. again. Oh my god, I'm almost about to have heaven! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I this... love sneak attack heaven as a bit. That's so good. <laughs> like anytime anything is good in my life, I'll be like, oh look at that, my dog is sick. Heaven! Heaven! <laughs> Oh, no, <laughs> not with the dog. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he went to heaven, but go. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, oh, what a twist. I really yes. enjoy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, y- yesterday, you gave me a recommendation for oh, a shit. show. Did you dive in? So I watched about four or five episodes of this, and it made me very confused because you gave me a very specific pitch that that show is not. Okay, I I only reported on the first episode right. of the show. Uh, had you my seen experience? Have you seen more than episode no, one still? Uh, but and I've heard that it drifts off, but I've heard that it sticks the landing. Okay, yeah, it's. Uh, so I'm talking about Adventure Time, Fiona and Cake. Oh, yes, on HBO Max. Yeah, I we, we have, I've not seen a scene. But it's, oh, dude, it, there's this awesome scene, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, heaven!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing! <laughs> 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 Yeah, oh, Pendleton. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, Pendleton. <laughs> so it's uh it's like an adult spin-off, an adult animated spin-off of of Adventure Time. Nice. It is uh th- so the first episode the conceit is very much like, hey, here's Fiona, the gender bent Finn, living in a not magical world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, that's fascinating because you have all these characters and they've got archetypes and by gender bending them, you change them a little bit. Um, but then uh, this, I won't talk, uh, I'm not going to say any specifics, but the second episode is in the land of Ooh. Okay. Uh, what, but we do know that she dreams of that place. That is not a long mystery. That is an oh. episode two. So that, that is pretty. Uh, so it turns out that the first episode was the dream. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a, there's some amount of going back and forth, uh, and so I don't want to say that it's not also that thing because it is also kind of that non magical thing a little bit. By episode five, you've seen five episodes above uh, four or five, yeah. So, are, and are you saying you're not sold on the series yet? I like yet? it. Okay, I, I know yeah. I do like it, it but it, but it is more you've not gotten episode six. You have to pass to episode one. Six. The one where they reveal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah. it, uh, I was just surprised because it did take 
that first episode has a, like a lot of references to other gender bent Adventure Time characters, I guess. Mm. Um, and so I kind of got that. But then in episode two and three, it's like, oh, maybe I like need to go and actually understand more about the Ice King stuff All and the, the Marceline stuff. they're making. Yeah, because yeah. they it is definitely more character development for a character I'd uh, guessing is I, for, and this for, is why I can't talk too specific about it because I don't know and I don't want to spoil it. Well, uh, mm. From what I understand, um, I mean that 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 show has the reputation of going places and staying there. There's no reset button. Uh, like hmm. uh, people lose limbs and sure. apparently it is serialized. The same go- stay gone. Uh, they stay yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it is. Yeah. It is an arc serialized story. Okay. I like Though I will yeah. say, in in the vein of the like, when people are gone, they stay gone. Yeah, and again, I don't know Adventure Time lore, but there's a moment where you see uh, uh, a character from Adventure Time, and a thing about that character makes it seem like another character is definitely dead because <laughs> that character is oh, gone. So, so it and then you're like, oh no, he's spoilers. here. Too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. I, Oh no no no! So they do reset. Okay. Well, no. It's, again, I don't know. They, I, I don't. You know how we solve it? I'm. I'm. How? Heaven. <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for the assist. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. That felt really. Oh my God! Heaven. <laughs> that felt really. Oh. They have pills for that. You know. Yeah. You can get a pill for that. <laughs> um, but I, I, I do think it's good. I, it, I, I thought it was interesting reading the Wikipedia because they were like, you know. Yeah, people grew up with Adventure Time, so we're just making the adult... Like, it's the opposite of the Simpsons problem, where the Simpsons are stuck in time. Right. right. Yeah. Like, literally, the characters are evolving. It's, it's, it is, it, yeah, yeah. it's good enough that it makes me go, like, this is still really good for animation, that, like, these, these very meaningful or intentional shows are getting a lot of... of of attention. Yeah. It, there, there's a bit of confusion because, uh, for me, um, when it comes to this issue, because we want our art to be pure and formed out of nowhere, but you can work from the outside in. They can do things like, who are our target demographics 10 years ago? What are they doing now? Yep, what if yep, we did yep, a yep. thing that they would yep. like very much yep, right yep. now? Yep. Which sounds so mercenary and awful. And uh, but the, like the, the reason I'm going to the reason I love the last of us, because I am a nearly 50 year old man who has a 15 year old daughter. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And that's it, the only reason Rob the- Crackle. <laughs> 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 and, I, uh, now I'm just thinking about Rob Crackle. who's a great guy. Uh, well, Oh, this brings us kind of back to the start of the, <laughs> uh, no, that brings us back to the start of the green where we were talking about virtual influencers, mm. um, where these, guys just say i want to make a celebrity so i'll just make a 3d character celebrity and no one is interested in it because that's it it doesn't appeal to anybody it's not like these things are being written with the idea of like oh yeah we'll get teenagers interested in it we will focus on teenage girls or we will focus on the, uh, like it, literally anything other than i just want to be <laughs> the guy behind a famous the virtual model. That's uh, that's yeah. where we. Uh, 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 Thirty seconds. Brian branding talk is. Uh, I keep encouraging people to not listen to the song of their heart, but figure out what are they hungry to hear and decide which parts of your soul you are willing to give to fill that void. Which yeah. I, I would imagine you deal with. Yeah, that's. I mean, I mean, it, well, it, it, it's it's funny because that that. <clears throat> That is a that is a big part of like what uh, the great thing about music is you it it happens in little three minute increments so you can so I put out a bunch of stuff and often I'll put out I'm like this is a shitty song and people be like I love this song and I'm like oh this somehow resonated and struck a nerve yeah and okay this and and so and so it takes and so eventually you have to go okay I have no idea what really works. With my uh, and then and then you this one does this one does and eventually you, you're able to triangulate oh this is the the shoot around which I can drive that will that will keep mm-hmm. turning people on you know but it takes a long time to get to that point in time where you're like okay yeah. uh, this you know and so yeah so I I do think that you can you can pay attention to the song in your heart but yes you if that's the only you're paying attention to you're just not going to be successful and that's okay I mean, well yeah. and ultimately yeah. you can only fake it for so long yeah you know in in some of these cases of like newer virtual influencers where they have a lot of followers but not a lot of interaction right yeah. you know like well 
it's pretty. I'm right here. No, <laughs> yeah. no, because you know what? Because, but what's different? No, no honestly, what's different is that uh, you make something people want. <laughs> like, like the this is you. At, at some point, people have to get a hook in, right? I mean, you can buy all the ad time that you want, but if your thing is not interesting, nobody exactly. will buy that's, it. That, that, exactly. That's exactly what it comes down to. Is, is and in fact, it, that's the thing that that drives me nuts about a lot of the the modality, the way we look at like promotion and stuff is is like there's like like first you have to make sure that what you've got is solid. It's you know, good. Like, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like things if if it's not if it's nothing mm. if it's all glitz and no substance. Yeah. That will it will pall very quickly, you know, and so yeah, like it's, it's there's a lot of like oh we we got a record label with Warner, yeah. like yeah you got a record label you're gonna do all of the music and they need unlimited content that's yeah. their entire yeah. business yeah. model they will sign anyone <laughs> and put it on in, in like like I'm not crazy about that idea of like 2023 relatively easy to get a record deal if you have like yeah have especially music. Uh, composing chops, yeah. you know, beforehand. You yeah, know, these are yeah. other composers. So uh, yesterday we were talking about. I watched the Hud Sucker Proxy, a Coen oh, Brothers movie. Love right? it, yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. you know, for kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Five minutes, Hud Sucker. Exactly my point. Thank is, you. Is they are they're not really making movies; they're making music because there's that that lyrical that pullback that, yeah. that moment. Yeah. <clears throat> and and there's one moment where you know he has success. Uh, the thing comes out. And he was like, well, I know this much. I didn't expect this much hoopla. Or he says it by accident at first. Everyone goes nuts. But then he sells it a second time. We're like, oh, we're getting bored of that, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm literally getting bored of him doing that now. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly how I'm supposed to feel. Yeah. I'm supposed yeah. to feel like yeah. everybody. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Man, that, that, that uh, boardroom scene. Oh, uh, the no, opening wait, 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 no, 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 because they happen twice. And the first time he jumps out. And, and the, the second, second time, time <laughs> one, li one line, <laughs> plexiglass. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, but that, yeah, no, no, that but is like, so I, th I saw that as an actor. I watched Charles Durning yeah. as an actor do that thing. And I was like, that is going to be the thing. He'll be remembered for, oh, for yeah. like that is such an amazing scene. That would be something. God, I would love to have a scene like that. Uh, but you're talking about the opening or the or the the, opening. the refrain. Okay, the opening. The uh, opening. No, no. And then but, he went on to do the Big Lebowski right after that. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah, clearly yeah, yeah, not yeah. what he's remembered, right? Because nobody knows what you're talking about. Charles Durning. But, but, um, <laughs> apologies, Mr. Lebowski. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah. The bomb's yeah. lost. Yeah. No, that's not Charles Durning. The bomb's. Yeah. Well, that's in the opening scene. He's the one who gets up and jumps out the window. But that's Charles. That's Charles Durning. That's not the same guy that's in The Big Lebowski. What? Really? Yeah. No. Really? Yep. No. What? Yes. Tough that, Teddy Toenails I, is not the same not as nope. The Bum's Lost? No. Nope. What? No. Uh, 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 okay, let's see. Uh, heaven. Yeah. Heaven. <laughs> also, heaven. He heaven is the new smoke bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus Wait, is like, what's up? Is that for <laughs> reals? Yeah. Crazy. Oh. No, Charles Durning was. Uh, oh, people are saying I'm thinking of David Huddleston, and how did I live my entire life until exactly today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, because, what a because, wonderful cause, epiphany! Because it's, it's, it's a bigger kind of jolly guy. Yeah, they, they, like it, it, with they, they have similar voices. They do have similar voices. Yes, and they do have similar appearances. Uh, and, and Charles Durning was the governor in the best little whorehouse in Texas. Oh wow, you know Texas. Has a whorehouse in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, and they've, they've got multiple whorehouses, and there is one that's that's considered the best. You know that. That's, uh, <laughs> yes, you know, there are like many. One of us was There's one a totem from it at all times. <laughs> but but it, was it? So the question is: Was it the best whorehouse, or was it because it was so little? It was the best little whorehouse. Oh. It's the best in the category of little of yeah. little oh, yeah, whorehouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, then, but then you know sometimes they'll let, they'll like be a big house, and then somebody will reduce it. And then they argue about whether <laughs> yeah. it belongs in this category. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, is there... They're like, oh, too many. Well, we, we got to figure out the category. Oh, okay. of... Sorry, I, I, I made it too real. What is the population <laughs> of said whorehouse? Yeah. Is it population or size of the of the house? Uh, I think it's... <laughs> that's not the Big Lebowski. No. I thought, like, at the time, I'm like, oh, that's the guy from that the... Is, no, around. that is hmm. not Charles Durning. Yeah. He was also in Evening Shade with... Uh, Little house, big whores. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's best that was, little whorehouse. Very, very good turn of phrase. Max Trollbot. That was good. Yep. Uh, so, um, so, so, yeah. Which one? Uh, so, so, Charles. Which Turning one was, was in... the one in Oh Brother? Where art thou? 
as as the playing the 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 no no the uh it's the it's the is he a judge no 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 the guy with the guy with the the guy with the he's, he's like speaking Jet to pack. my box think is like speaking to my singing to my little oh that's box. right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He's, the guy. He's, he's like blind and he's like i'm just oh you know, no that's guy. No, no, no no that's, that's totally that's different, different. that's yeah, that's, that's stapler oh yeah okay, okay. yes yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, that, God, thank you. Now, now, now we got that check. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, yeah, yeah. we all think yeah. all elderly fat white men yeah. are the yeah. same yeah. person. Love me some Charles uh, Durning. Says the three increasingly <laughs> elderly, and, and by the way, increasingly <laughs> fat <laughs> white men. The blind, the blind radio operator. That was that was Stephen Root. Stephen Root. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do remember that. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, will you please talk about race cars or some shit? All right. Thank you, Green Room. Right. There you go. <laughs> Heaven! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room, Great Room Holding Thing. Bryce Castillo here, bringing you out of the green room. I'm escorting you out and bringing you into uh, the next part of the show where I have a little bit of music playing. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's do, uh, let's do our birthday borner. This is where we go to our Discord, our Diamond Club Discord, and check the birthday the birthday borner uh channel and see the shout outs that we are going to give to all of the beautiful people here who have let us know about birthdays we've got a few here uh since our last episode let me double check boop, boop, boop. okay we had uh da, 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 da. donkey business's birthday was last saturday i think i don't know if we got that uh buff's birthday was on the 24th buff is older now happy birthday buff uh, let's see. Today, Matt Awad turns 30. Happy birthday, Matt. Uh, Dr. Chiron uh, turns, uh, has a birthday on the 1st. Happy birthday uh, in a couple of days, Dr. Chiron. And uh, Cattle Humper turned 42 on Saturday. Happy birthday, Cattle Humper. And everyone who submits birthdays in our Birthday Borner channel in Discord. Discord.greatnight.tv is, I believe, what it is. Let's talk a little bit about fast cars here with a little bit of uh, critical racing theory. We had another race over the weekend. It was the Japanese Grand Prix. And if you thought after Singapore that Max Verstappen and the Red Bull team were done, well, boy, howdy, you <laughs> would have been way, way wrong. <laughs> Max, certainly Max walked away with it. Uh, just... Uh, just destroyed uh, every team. Just it was it was so much like he wasn't even on screen very much, uh, and so that that was that. We also had the McLaren boys grab a second and third place after a little bit of Mercedes fighting and some Ferrari fight. I think the big the biggest story is un one of them at least is uh, Sergio Perez in the Red Bull team. Uh, he had a really bad weekend, everybody. Now, granted, there were what there were five or six DNFs uh, in the Japanese Grand Prix, so it's not like he was alone in not finishing the race. But uh, he was incredibly, incredibly uh, off, off of, off of his game. Who was off of his game? Let's call, let's say uh, he uh, uh, his start his start was okay, but then he. But then, but then he, he he keeps he kept bumping into people. They end up having to retire his car relatively early. But <laughs> this, is, this is actually this is actually fuck. Uh, so he retires early, but he gets a five second penalty for uh, uh, for bumping into into I think it was K Mag uh, in the Hass. But because he had retired, the way penalties work is you would apply it to the next race or you, you you might possibly apply it to the next race there are a, a bunch of there's ambiguity around that since they never actually needed to do this uh but so like 40 minutes later 40 minutes later uh <laughs> he comes back out they, they 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 say hey we're gonna put him out on track again um and so he does he goes around for a couple of laps they make him do his five seconds um, and then he goes, and then he goes off his way. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a bad, it was a bad showing for Sergio and he needed it. Like, honestly, uh, it's, it's been tough this season for him. And, uh, you might've hoped that Singapore, um, could have given some hope, but, uh, really didn't. The other thing worth talking about, and this was really kind of interesting, um, for the podium, uh, the trophy, they had a special trophy 
that they're going to have at this Grand Prix and I think uh, this coming Grand Prix uh, uh, this weekend, next weekend, a kiss activated trophy where you, when you kiss it, it knows that you kiss it. Uh, it lights up with the colors of your, your nation's flag. And so uh, a part of it, they're all red, white, and blue, so whatever. But uh, it's 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 so bizarre because I would also say that like kissing a trophy is not universal. Like it's common. It happens. People do, you know, people drink out of it. People, people break them. Happen, that happens a lot, Lando. But... I, I wouldn't exactly say that, like, kissing, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a gimmick, it's a gimmick, I, like, that's what it is, it's a novelty, it's a gimmick, whatever, not a, not a, I just, I'm not, I'm not interested, who gets the kiss, like, what, no one is interested in this, like, like the, I don't know, this, this, this is just a little, a little ridiculous to me. Um, and yeah, it is kind of phallic too, but I mean, it's a trophy. What else are you going to do? So that was, uh, that was the Japanese Grand Prix. I, uh, it was ultimately a, a pretty, a pretty, pretty decent race. Uh, it, it wasn't the, I mean, after Singapore, Singapore was such an amazing race, um, that, uh, watching Max just run away with it again was, uh, uninspiring. I really want to believe that I just because when I walked in uh -huh. it was a weird silence and then you're like so that was the Japanese Grand Prix and then you said you called it cute or something which I thought was a little bit uh, but uh, this is presumably 20 seconds ago uh, but the uh, 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 I, I want to believe that you yakety sack style played all of it <laughs> <laughs> just very very fast <laughs> no. and then somebody shot their hands up in the air and a confetti cannon went off Brian I got a question for you if mm. you were a race car driver and you won a race and they gave you a trophy. Mm. What would you do with the trophy? Like as a celebration, what do you do? What's your move? Everyone has like a big is this, is this a joke? No, this is not a joke. And this relates to a thing we were just talking about and you didn't hear me talking about it. So, okay, this is actually so the question time. is, if I was a racist uh, huh? and I was handed a trophy, what would I do? I would <laughs> marry her. <laughs> I really don't want to play at all. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, no, no. What would you uh, do? Come so, on, like, somebody you... did a wacky thing. Uh, uh, usually, people will kiss it, or they'll drink uh, Bud Light from it, or okay. they would you... say, "I would like to thank." Bud Light for giving me this trophy. You know what sucks is you, you, or they would go, hooray, Bud Light. Sucks is you ruined my whole premise that <laughs> kissing a trophy is not common. No, <laughs> it's not common at all. It's the most obvious thing, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so at the at the Japanese Grand Prix, they had a kiss activated trophy, the world's first kiss activated. Oh my trophy. god, actually that's and when you when you when you kiss it, it lights up with your your where are we at on point. oral intimacy with icons of achievement? Sorry, I was talking about Bill Clinton. <laughs> Condoleezza Rice is in the news today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I don't know. I guess I, I wouldn't have thought Kissing, kissing wouldn't have been in my like top three of things to do with a trophy. I guess. Wait, for reals? I thought that was the, especially like with the the Stanley Cup or well, the I Stanley mean... Cup, I guess. But especially with F one trophies, uh, it's F one trophies are weird. Sometimes they're like this, where they're just like the shape of a trophy, but then sometimes they're like a plate. Sometimes they're just a platter. Okay. Sometimes they're a a actual. They're actually just a statue of a gorilla. I have to. I, th I, th I think maybe this is a generational thing because. Uh, 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 like I've seen so many hockey players kiss a trophy that I'm mainly interested on uh, how they're fucking it later on. <laughs> like, and they do. <laughs> and we know that they do. Uh, yeah, at the French Grand Prix, they actually have a, just it's a big, it's just a big monkey. Just, oh you know, my like, God. You know what? I, <laughs> I rescind my offer. <laughs> <laughs> I know how fucking that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, well, that's going to do it for some fast cars. Let's get ready for the show, why don't we? Uh, of course, if you want to support this whole thing, go to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Great Night is the website. Where's my thing? Don't I have a Patreon thing? Are you 
the Patreon thing. It doesn't matter. Patreon.com slash uh, Great Night. Ah, here it is. It's where you can go to support us. Keep this whole thing going loud, live, independently. We're doing a show today, despite the fact that we're missing some folks. We'll get into that. But that's partly because we got Patreon. Thank you so much, everyone who supports us at Patreon. And thank you, everyone who listens and wishes they could. Thank you for wishing. <laughs> Listen and wishing. Listen and wishing. Heaven. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, let's do our final checks on people for the day. Brian. Yo, yo. Brett. Hello, friend. Annalisa. Yes. Uh, let's see, we got Jeff. Let's do it. And is that Nathan? Mm-hmm. Hello. There we go. Plus the chat in our lives. Jay. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, everybody, for showing up for Tuesday. Let's do it, too. You're ready to do it, too, Brett? Let's do it, too. Do it, too. As well. Yeah, do it, too. Here we go, catch it in.